What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you the place where I've been hunting for the last couple of days and it has been making me a ton of money. Before we get into the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and also turn on notifications so you get notified when my next upload is live. It has been a while since I've done a video showing you how to get money. I think for the whole week this week I've showed you how to rank up. If you want to see any of those videos I have put a playlist together showing you all the methods that I've been using to rank up quickly on Red Dead Redemption Online. But today I have got a money making method and it's something that is not the best way to make money But because of the other methods to make money They're just swarmed by people every online session you go into there are just people that are doing all the different glitches Doing all the different really effective methods to make money. It is just chaos once you go to these locations So what you want to do is head over to the Manzita post that is located in tall trees and round there is a perfect place to just hunt Around this location, you are able to hunt bears, cougars, and elks, as well as all the other stuff that you can normally get. Once you go to Manzita Post, what you want to do is come down to this location. Here, there are four different buildings, and what normally happens is two of the big main animals will spawn in. You will either get two grizzlies, a grizzly and a cougar, or occasionally, and it is very rare, you will get two cougars. If you come to this place, what you're going to want to do is actually bring another horse. To do this, you can just take another person's horse, right to this location on their horse and your horse will follow closely behind. With that you can put a cougar carcass on one horse and then all the bear hide as well as its meat on another horse and then take that into Blackwater to sell. If you get a perfect cougar what you can do is sell that for $22 as well as if you go and get a bear or an elk you're selling that between $10 and $15 which is very good money. The journey from here all the way to Blackwater is kind of irritating but it is worth it you are not challenged once you get to the tall trees. The only problem is you will be challenged once you go to Blackwall if you have a bunch of people there. And some of them happen just to be griefers. That is very annoying. A good way to avoid this is when you first go into an online session, spawn all the way over in Lemoyne and then go and use a fast travel to come to Blackwall or the Manzita post and then start grinding out this method. Another good thing about this location is that occasionally you will get a gang hideout here right on these four buildings as well. So there's a chance of cougars spawning, a chance of bears spawning, they've got elks coming around it, and also you have a gang hideout, which is very profitable if you can get all of them. It's rare that you get all of them put together, but what you'll most likely have once you go here, you will get either a gang hideout or you'll get the animal spawns. Most of the time, it will be the animal spawns. If you are extremely unlucky and when you go there, nothing is in that area, a good thing to do, and it's something that I've always done, is go and collect all the herbs in the local area, as well as look into the trees because you will find a bunch of different owls which you can shoot down put those on your horse and then take those into the black water to sell at the butchers instead unfortunately in black water there are no doctors so you won't be able to sell the herbs but you can definitely use those for crafting and then once that's all done head back into this location hopefully at that point what you'll get is either a cougar a bear or an elk spawn in and then just kill that and go back to black water again the last thing to talk about with this location is that you have the lower montana river and if you haven't seen my videos this week I did show you that you can take a deer to the upper Montana River go and place a deer there and fish will spawn in there are a bunch of different locations to do that on this river as well here so what you can do is bring a deer here instead where it's not contested by other players and you can just carry on doing whatever it is you want to do in this area without anyone just griefing you trying to get all your money all of your animals and take those back to Blackwall at the moment when I go there most of the time there is no one in this location so hopefully when you watch this video and then you go to this location you can do the exact same thing as me But anyway guys that is the end of this video It's a quick one just to show you where I've been hunting and why it's so good to hunt there I hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe But for now I'm going so see ya